This is gonna be a fairly short video. Um, I have my first real like solo wedding today to photograph, so I'm excited about that. Um, this one is at our church and it's an open church wedding, so a lot of potential clients for stuff there, which is why I'm like a little nervous. Um, they have a very tight timeline and they only wanted me there for a few hours. I'm actually coming an extra hour early because I was like, we need more time. Um, so I'm a little nervous about getting all the things done in the time they want. <laughs> but I thought I'd walk you guys through kind of what I'm bringing and things. Um, unfortunately, my camera backpack has not come yet because I ordered it and it was back ordered for a few weeks. And then it only just shipped this week and it won't be here by today. I was going to use like, I have my Carling Creative camera bag. Um, but the problem is if I'm wearing my harness, this is really hard to just wear on my shoulder as well. So I really don't want that. I wanted a backpack. Um, my Lily Jade backpack is just massive if all that's going to be left in it is my lenses. So I think what I'm going to do, I've been back and forth about this a lot. I am just going to, for today, use my Michael Kors backpack um, because I'm going to have my harness and my cameras on. So they're not going to be in here. In here will just be my extra lenses and like batteries and SD cards. Um, and with that, I'll empty those out in a second. So with that, this bag that I've been using a lot lately, um, which I don't know if you guys have seen, I don't think I post on here, but on my TikTok and stuff, like this entire back part is just camera stuff. It's my Fuji film and the stuff that goes with it. The front part is the only purse part I'm using. So I kind of thought I could detach the little front part and use that if I needed to have like SD cards and batteries like readily available or a little fan pack that I have, but I honestly don't know that I'm gonna because this is such a small short wedding. Like they only hired me for three hours and I'm doing four. Um, I might just stick with the backpack for the night and just throw what I need from this in my backpack. But, um, but just to show you guys, because this has been a game changer. I always carry totes because of my camera gear. My camera's in there. Like with the little like teleconverter lens, batteries, it's all in there. So I'm really excited. I also pre-ordered the X100V um, this past week because I decided I really want some of the features. So I'm going to be selling my X100F once that comes in, but I don't want to be without it. So that's why I haven't done it yet. I'm going to list it on eBay probably. Um, anyway, back to what's in my bag. So this is the only other thing is like, obviously both my cameras and stuff do not fit in that bag, but we're just going down the street to our church. So I don't feel bad about just carrying my other camera. So I'm carrying my main one, which is my R6 with the 50 EF lens on it. Um, that's what I mainly am going to use for today. I've got two 128 gigabyte cards in here just because that's what I have. I did go to Best Buy last night and bought another spare SD card just because I'm paranoid. Um, this also does not fit in the backpack, but I will buy the chance. By the time we already get to the church, I'm going to have my cameras already hooked up and ready to go onto my harness. This is Corey. At, um, I think my husband got it for me off Amazon for Christmas. So that I will have both my R6 and my 5D4 on it. And then, so what actually fit in here for now is take these out first those are the lenses <laughs> so my 5d4 and this just has the 85 1.8 on it um and that will probably mostly stay on this because this i am bringing another rf or ef lens that'll go on this so probably for most of the portraits and stuff in the beginning i'm going to be using the 50 and the 85 here um and just have both of those going but then what i also packed just in case I don't know that I'll need this. Our church is huge. I packed my 35 RF lens. I am not packing the Sigma EF, the giant one back there, because I can only use that on my 5D4. And honestly, that thing is massive. And if I have this one and it works really well, I don't feel the need to take that extra weight. Honestly, I probably should sell that one. Now that I think about it. I think I'm just paranoid about not having a good high quality 35 millimeter lens because this is just the like basic one. It's not the RF lens type or the the L lens type, you know what I mean? Anyway, the other lens I'm taking is an EF mount as well, and it's not the best lens, but it works. Um, it is a Sigma 105 macro lens, so it's a 2.8. Um, it, it's fine. It's not the best lens in the world. It's not the fastest, but I already knew that. Um, I just think this will be good, obviously, for detail shots, which I'll probably do when I first get in, so I might swap this on really quick just to do some of those in the beginning. But then also just coming down the aisle in the church, because our church is huge, I might have this on as well as like my 50 or something. I don't know. So we'll see. But mostly I'm probably going to stick to the 85 and the 50, because those are like, those are the ones that I think look the best for weddings for me. On my list of things someday is a 70 to 200 lens, but... Um, partly because I'm now taking a lot of photos for church and I need that to get close up Candace without having to actually get close to people and get in their space. <laughs> My hair is not drying well today. Sorry guys. This is driving me nuts. I'm going to have to go curl that piece. But um, I also have in here 
I don't need the whole notebook, but basically what I have in this notebook is a lot of things, but I purposefully have a list of like my wedding photography list. So there's like things I need to make sure I pack. And then there's like just notes for myself on different poses and things like that, just because I'm just gonna go over it before I go to the wedding just to make myself feel better. I know poses to do, I know how to do this. Like it's just in the moment when it's your first wedding and you're kind of terrified of like getting things done on time or I don't know what's gonna happen there if someone's gonna be running late or something. I just wanna be prepared. Um, and that just makes me feel a little better. Um, and in the front pocket here we've got, I probably don't need to take this, but I'm taking my charger. Honestly, for the short of a wedding, I probably should just leave that at home. I only have the batteries that are in each camera and then I have one spare battery at the moment because both those cameras take the same battery. So like when I had the RP, I had two batteries for that and I had two for the 5 4 but now that I have the R6, I haven't bought a fourth battery yet. So I have three batteries total. Um, actually, yeah, I really may not take that. I'm not gonna need that today. I just charged all the batteries, they're fine. I have my little lens cleaner stick. Um, I have my little phone mount, which will help me get some behind the scenes footage or some videos for them. But also I can just have my phone up with like their schedule or their shot list and stuff just up on my phone on top of my camera and make that easy. My husband will be there with a printed shot list because they want so many family photos. That's what I'm worried about more than anything. And they want it all done before the ceremony. So I'm like, okay. Um, I also brought a little ring box just in case we need it for detail shots because I have no idea what they're gonna have. They're a very minimalist couple, so I'm trying to kind of plan for what will help me make things look better. And then the only other thing in here is my, um, I have this little case for SD cards, and this is just what I have in it at the moment. So I don't have a lot of great SD cards, they're all in my cameras, because before this, I had my RP that only took one camera, or one SD card, so now another one of my good cards is in the camera, which is great, but I'm like, okay, these are all I have extra, that's why I went and bought an extra 64 gig yesterday. Um, that's what's in here. And then like out of my purse, like I, part of me wants to take my Fuji because I love the photos it gives, but like for today, I'm just not gonna have time to use it for like film like photos. I just really probably should not. Um, so I'll probably just take, so I can unclip this from this. And I can even just throw this little pouch into my backpack. And then all that's in here is like a small wallet, gum, Advil, my knee tape in case I have really bad knee problems today, lipstick, a pen, like nausea medicine, my, my usual stuff that I really need every day. And I can throw my phone in there if I need to, but like that's all. Um, and then I can just leave the rest of this at home. But that's what I'm taking. Um, I'm, we'll see how this goes. So basically it's like, I'm getting there at four. They wanna start doing like their first look and stuff by like 4.30. Um, but they're not even getting to the church that early because she has kind of hair like mine and she's like, I'm not really going to do anything to it. She doesn't really wear makeup. She's like, I'll wear a little more today, but that's it. And her bridesmaids are kind of the same. So it's very minimal. She's wearing her sister's wedding dress. I have no idea what that looks like. I wish I did so I could plan, but I don't even know if she's wearing a veil. I hope so. It's super windy today. At least it's not like yesterday where we had torrential rains and storms, but it's going to be very wet too. So I'm just kind of trying to plan out things. Of course, it's super sunny right now too. So I'm like, I need it to be more cloudy by the time I go do their stuff, just so it's easier to get outdoor photos there. Um, but yeah, we'll do all that. Do as many other family photos as we can beforehand. Ceremonies at seven. And then they just want one photo after the ceremony with the people who would have been in their bridal party had they done a bigger one instead of like two people each. Um, and then it's just out in the lobby for a cupcake. That's their reception. That's it. Um, so very straightforward and minimal, but I'm just a little worried about their timeline. Um, I want to get them as many photos. They seemed like more concerned about the family photos than their couple's photos, which is fine. That's whatever everybody is allowed to have what they want their preference to be. I just don't want it to be like, like years later, they come back and go, wow, I wish we'd had more of our couple's photos. Cause I feel like those are the ones you really want. Um, so I'm going to try and get as many of them as I can for them. So that's my update today. Um, that was longer than I needed to explain, but that's my update.